Okay, um, in this video, we're going to take a look at dome homes. I'm going to do a series of videos on house building, uh, shelter for people. I get asked all the time about it, um, and I haven't done that much so far. Now, in the past, I've built um, houses and, and I've built domes as well. So this video, we're going to take a look at some best practices, shall we say, for building dome homes. This is what most people think of as a dome home. Uh, if you type in dome home on the internet, this is the type of thing that you you'll you'll can you can come up with. Unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend this type of building. Let me explain. Uh, the um, advantage that a dome has over uh, standard buildings are fairly well known, but let's quickly run through them. There are less surface area so per volume so you get uh, a dome has the least surface area and the most uh, volume inside it um, aerodynamic stability and um, strength now what's happened with this type of um, dome home it's it's like the mongrel offspring of a standard house and a geodesic dome the person who's um, built this has uh, obviously in a, uh, like in the idea of a dome but they haven't let go of the idea of a standard house. You know, it has tiles on it, like a, like a, like a house. Well, this shape here is more like a house, and this is a dome. And all they've done is they've uh, taken the properties of a house and tried to apply those to a, to a dome. This is the dome of that building beside it. Now you can see that there's there's huge holes cut in here. There's a big hole in the top. Now this the first thing that this does. Uh, if we look at the dome that's in that building, first thing that this does is it totally destroys the structural stability of a dome. A dome has to be triangulated. Uh, if it's not triangulated, it has to have extra support put in. Uh, so these, how many is that? This this huge cut out here, that's unstable. Uh, this was where the chimney would go. So you've smashed through this, this strut line here. So that's weakened that. So this is all that remains of a geodesic dome. It's a little bit more than half, I would say, but it's not a lot more than half. So it's really half a dome. When we go back to this, it's ruined the aerodynamic properties as well. If you were to look at a pure dome, um, you would see that it's a, uh, just a dome from all sides. It looks, it's got exactly the same wind profile from all sides. But if you look at this, for example, this is a very good example here, is if you can imagine the wind coming in here, it's going to strike this and try to go around, but these walls block it. So that's going to add to the aerodynamic forces. They're going to come up here and attempt to rip this top off. Instead of running smoothly over the top, they'll want to uh, lift this off. So all of this is, needs to be extra support in it. Whereas on a pure dome, you would just build the whole thing out of all the same material. You've seen those things that you can get for camping. It's like a cross between a spoon and a fork. That's what this dome is. It's a cross between a dome and a standard house. And like a spoke, you end up with uh, something that's neither good as a fork nor good as a spoon. In a modern house, really, why would you have a fire? You know, like... And you will just stab the root, stab the chimney right the way up, like some sort of pylon sticking out the house. Um, next feature is the cupola. Uh, no idea why that. Why it seems to be a feature of uh, dome homes. Ooh, let's have a cupola on the top so we can see out. Um, again, two floors usually. If you look, let me let me throw a diagram together. You'd have a second floor about this level. So you walk in and you do all your floor on this level. You've got a slight incline walls, but it's not a big deal. But once you get upstairs, you've got this hideous uh, waste of space from here till you get up to head height. All of this here, let me just, not usable from, from, from a head height perspective. I'm not criticizing anybody, you know, you've got to, it's all about learning curve, isn't it? But I think we need to take a look at the dome as a um, living space and do a redesign and see what we can do that best suits the needs and requirements that people have today. Over the next 
few weeks I'll throw some designs up and I'll throw a few YouTube videos up um, and give my best shot at uh, designing a modern super efficient uh, dome home uh, and I'll probably make the plans available for free because it's something that um, I'm, I'm trying to uh, put as much free information out as possible they'll be basic but and we'll we'll look at the co general concepts um and try and work something out that maybe is a bit better than this uh, thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one